Hi YouTube. Um, so I know it's been a while since I posted a video, so I wanted to actually do this vlog. I forgive me, I didn't, I couldn't record on the first day, but I did want to like do a vlog. Basically, I got my tongue pierced. Um, this is just basically on my experience and everything. So this is, I don't know if I would say first. Well, this is the first day of you know aftercare stuff like that, the healing process. Um, I know a lot of people basically said the healing process sucks um, because getting the piercing they say is basically there's no pain and all that. Well, my experience, I didn't feel anything. My pain was on a zero. So um, that part for me, I guess I was lucky. Everybody's pain tolerance is different. But about three or four hours after I got my tongue pierced yesterday, it did start swelling a little, but it didn't swell as bad because what I did is right after I um, got my tongue pierced, I actually took a ibuprofen and um, I, you know, brushed, I got a new toothbrush actually, I brushed my teeth, used mouthwash with, that's non-alcoholic and of course took ibuprofen. So I didn't swell bad um so yeah um but this is day one it is sore but and it is swollen some so i'm not gonna lie but it's not really really that bad like a lot of people some people say it is but everybody's pain tolerance is different so this is day one so yeah um just you know bear with me um, I will keep you guys posted on this healing process. I mean, it's not fun, but it, for lucky for me, it's not the worst. Um, as far as eating wise, there's no dairy for like three days. You can't eat anything spicy for like two, four weeks. I think she was telling me you know, until it's healed. Basically, you don't want to irritate your your um your piercing. And I'm sorry if you hear my kids crying. They're giving my mom a hard time right now. Um, what else? She didn't really say nothing about drinking wise, but I'm not going to drink because I don't want to risk that either because I hear that, you know, you're not supposed to drink while your piercing is healing. Basically, I'm on straight noodles right now. I'm afraid to even try to eat anything, but noodles, it hurts, but um, I'm actually doing pretty good because I thank God for ibuprofen. It's your best friend. But yeah, um, we're just going to have to see how this goes, you know? So Hi YouTube, so it's about 3.40 and yes, as you can tell, I'm like, my tongue is starting to hurt right now. I guess my pain pill is wearing off. It's swollen. I feel like it just swelled um, more than what it was. I can feel it. Yeah, it has. Um, so I'm about to probably take a ibuprofen because I did just eat so I'm going to go ahead and brush my teeth again and use Listerine and take another ibuprofen yeah the healing process is not fun so if you're going to get it I say go for it I mean it doesn't hurt I mean in the healing process it, it's just soreness it's not much really like, oh my god, I'm dying from pain. It's just mostly just being sore. So yeah, but... Yes, baby. So we'll continue to see how this goes. So this is day two of healing. Oh my god. Okay, today it's sore as hell. Like, you can see it's swollen. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's just where all the soreness is now. It's not really so much the whole tongue anymore. So, it's not too bad, but it's just the swelling is, like, annoying. It's swelled up more. So, my piercer, you know, like she said, it takes up to five days to get to its actual size of swelling. So, oh, it sucks. But I'm about to try to eat some noodles again because I tried tacos last night, and that was a fail. I can't even enjoy it. So, let's see how day two goes, you guys. But so far, I mean, 
It's just a swelling, but I already went and took an ibuprofen, so let's see if I can eat okay today. Hi, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I was supposed to do this video last week, but um, I'm sorry I'm, I'm late on it. Um, but it's just because, you know, I'm dealing with a little bit of postpartum depression. So I haven't been really 100%. Um, I haven't really been 100%, um, but we'll get into that. We could talk more about that later. It's just a lot going on besides just my postpartum depression. There's a lot more that's like actually feeding into it, but um, I'll probably do like another video later, maybe later today or tomorrow um, on that. But um, um, so basically I was supposed to do a video, a vlog basically on my healing process. my tongue ring I was either supposed to do day one through five or at least day one through seven <laughs> sorry about that hold on I'll be right back sorry about that guys um but like I was saying I was supposed to come out with two videos um last week um and this was supposed to be one of them but I've been like dealing with a lot so you know what I I don't want to you know like break my word and I'm sorry I still have a list but um I don't want to you know break my word or anything like that so um this I was supposed to do a video basically a vlog video on um, either day one through five or one through seven basically on my healing process but um you know I made it to like day three I believe and it's, I was just like you know what instead of just you know doing it daily daily I was let me just do one whole video basically um telling you guys about it and everything like that but i mean i will upload basically day one to three but i'm just letting you guys know i'm just letting you guys know that um basically it was just a little too much for me doing day by day but um i'm sorry like i hate hair on my face but um i think i'm gonna cut a little bit more you see i started cutting some i did have her um basically styled i did style her if you i will basically link my instagram put my instagram down at the bottom so you guys can see how i did style her i did put victory rose in her because i did say you know i was thinking about um making her a little bit pinup bitch because i mean i am a pinup so i mean but like certain days i do like to just be like you know just plain no me <laughs> but um i will um put my instagram down below um but like I was saying, yeah, so it just became too much just to do day by day by day, especially when you have kids. I mean, it's possible. Don't get me wrong. It's possible. It's just for me, you know, with, you know, with the whole depression thing and then I'm running behind three kids. It was just a little too much. But I did want to um, put a video out there. So I will do upload day one to three for you guys. But this right here is just going to be everything in one. So basically, um, when I got the piercing, like I said, on I think it was day two, one of healing I said this, but when I did get it done, it didn't hurt at all. I didn't even feel the needle penetrate my tongue at all. Um, so I guess I was one of the lucky ones or my pain tolerance. So I have a pretty high pain tolerance, but usually for my mouth, like, it's not that high. But I'm shocked that, you know, my tongue, I didn't feel anything. I didn't even feel the needle go through my tongue. So that's always a good thing. Um, like people said, the healing process is what's the worst getting the piercing is nothing um so basically this is it so it does swell really bad um my piercer did tell me you know it takes up to five days for the swelling to get to its full potential of swelling so um and she did not lie about that so it did swell pretty big but um it wasn't like the pain wasn't like oh my god i'm dying from it for me it was just soreness like right around the tongue of course where the piercing is it was just super sore and the swelling was just bugging some because of the lisp i mean i still have a lisp but that's because the bar like i'm not, i don't have swelling anymore but the bar is like really long um i'm actually gonna go get it changed this sunday it'll mark two weeks for me so 
that's always a good thing because I'm so ready to actually get this long bar out of my mouth and get a, a smaller one in. So I can't wait for that. But um, the, it's not hard to take care of either. You know, just keep. Make sure you get a new toothbrush, by the way. If you are going to get this piercing, make sure you do get a new toothbrush. Um, um, get Listerine with no alcohol in it. That's going to be like your best friend. Ibuprofen is going to be your best friend. Um, what else? Because, yeah, ibuprofen helps a lot for the swelling and the pain, the soreness. Um, do not eat dairy. I was banned from dairy for like three days, but you know what? I went the whole week without dairy. I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to do a week. No spicy foods. I still haven't, um, tried anything spicy, but I do. I, okay. As far as the dairy pie, I did have chocolate though. I was craving chocolate, so... I gave in on that, but it didn't really irritate too much, but it did actually, you know, irritate it. But, um, whatever your piercer tells you to do, just please, like, go by, like, whatever they say. Um, it's, I know, like, a lot of people get, are scared to get this piercing. I was, like, shaking in my boots, but I'm just gonna tell you 100%. I'm not here to sugarcoat anything or to lie about anything but um don't be scared it's not painful but i mean i can't speak for everybody like i said you know my pain tolerance is different from somebody else but if you do freak out that does make it a little bit in my opinion that makes it worse because you're expecting it to hurt so your mind is just telling you oh it's going to hurt it's going to hurt so it's going to happen you know but it doesn't hurt um you know i'm being very honest it really doesn't hurt um what else I know um, some people are scared because, you know, the ball might rub against the gums and, you know, it can mess up your enamel. It can actually cause gum resuscitation. Um, I think it's acrylic ones you can get that, or plastic ones. I, I'm not really sure yet. I'm not a pro, but um, um, I think it's acrylic or whatever you can get and it won't really, you know, mess with your teeth or make your gums um, resuscitate or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, look into that. If you are going to get this piercing, please look into that. And I'm sorry, I know, Mike, you guys are probably like, oh, your camera's going down. I'm sorry. Um, I would have, you know, had it on my little, my stand or whatever, but my daughter is being very clingy. Um, um, what else can I say about this piercing? Mm, it's not really much I can really tell you guys about this one I mean it's not giving me problems or anything so I, I don't have anything negative to say I mean the only thing that bothers me is just the large um, the long barbell but I mean that's needed for swelling um, and the lisp I hate the lisp but it is what it is um, and uh, as far as eating now I can eat anything like but around day Five, I was eating whatever I wanted to eat. I actually um, know how to maneuver really good around my tongue ring where it won't pull. I haven't bitten into my tongue ring. Um, so thank God for that because I hear that it hurts like really bad. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to happen eventually, but hopefully no time soon. Um, yeah, just really all I can say is if you do get it, just really take care of it. Because trust, you don't want an infection in your mouth. And, like, stay away from dairy for, like, the first few days, like your piercer will tell you. Because you can get a yeast infection from the dairy. Um, don't want that as well. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say. I mean, I, I love it. I just, I plan on getting more jewelry for it and I can't wait to change it. But, and I say go for it. Yeah, but I mean, it's, I guess it's not for everybody. Oh, what I do want to talk about though, when I, as soon as I got this piercing, um, I was kind of hesitant about letting it be known because of how some people are in the world. But I did, I was like, fuck it. You're going to see it either way when I talk or whatever. So, um, a couple of people seen it. Like, uh, what I hate is a couple of guys seen it and automatically, they automatically assume like, oh, you suck. You know, you suck you could know what I mean but um I don't want to say it because my kids but um and it's like that's not the case some people like piercings for the beauty of it I love piercings for the beauty of it I mean I'm just 
obsessed with piercings and tattoos. I just don't go all out because, I mean, I have my girls and I don't want them looking at me like, <laughs> what's going on with our mom? Like, ah, we know that she's different and all, but yeah, mom, what's going on with you? Like, nah. Um, but yeah, um, I hate that. That's a downside for me about this piercing, though, that people, like, some people think they automatically, oh, you have a tongue, you're a tongue pierce, so you suck. You know what? And it's like, you know, some people might, some people don't. Well, who cares? So what if they do? So what if they don't? But it's like, you know what? Don't fucking judge or assume that people do it just because of what they have. You don't know anything about that person. So that's just my opinion. But yeah, um, this video is not going to be that long. But I thank you guys for watching. And please, you know, feel free to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up share whatever check out my instagram um thank you guys so much for watching and there will be more to come